What's up everyone? Jeremy Gerard from Four Horsemen Studios here. Wanted to shoot a quick video to talk a little bit about the new Figura Obscura Gods of Ancient Egypt figures. Now, we dropped those figures, we surprise dropped them on StoleHorseman.com this previous weekend, uh, Saturday, May 18th, and those are arriving to collections now. They are shipping out, our shipping team is rocking, and they're getting them out. They should start arriving actually today. As part of that, I just wanted to do a quick video to make you aware of a few things with this set to you know, be mindful of as you open them up so you can make sure that you get the most enjoyment out of them. Now, the first one I'm gonna talk about here is the Bastet figure. Um, when you open up this figure, there's a number of different accessories that are in that package. There's one particular accessory that I just want you to be mindful of as you pop it out that you don't accidentally break it. Let's be honest, as toy collectors, a lot of times we open up these packages and in our excitement, we just push out all of those different pieces that are in the plastic tray, all the extra hands and accessories. We just want them out of the tray in front of us so we can start playing around with this figure and changing up some of the parts. There's one particular piece in here that just, it's a smaller piece. It's got a, you know, a little bit of plastic that if you are too forceful, you could potentially break it. So we want to avoid that. So as you open up the box, what you're gonna find is you've got the figure in the front with a bunch of accessories, and then there's actually a tray of additional accessories behind it. This is where a lot of the extra hands are, one of the canopic jars, and so forth. This piece here, this kind of like bluish uh, accessory, which is actually called the Aegeus of Segment, and I know that because inside of this set, both of the Anubis and the Bastet, there's this little booklet that's included that talks not only about the characters and the figures, but also some of the antiquities that Eric Tredore recreated for this set. That is one of those antiquities. Now, before I pull this out, what you might be able to see, and it's probably hard in this video, is there's uh, a little handle in back of that particular accessory. And if you just push it out, you could potentially break it. It's just, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just only a little bit of plastic. So that's one thing just to be mindful as you're opening this box, that is a piece you want to be careful of. And it's largely just because the way they packaged it at the factory, it's in there nice and tight. There's no tape or, uh, you know, strings or anything, no uh, ties that are holding these in. They're just in there basically because they're form fitted to the plastic. So that's one area that as you're opening it, you're going to want to be careful with, okay? So be mindful of that. And I'll pop mine open right now. I'm just gonna kind of get underneath that lip. Take your time so you can pull this out successfully. There we go. So I pulled it out. Everything is safe. It's good. But you can see that that's what I'm talking about right there. That little handle. The good news is if you do happen to pull it out and it does break, this is not an articulated piece. It's literally just glued in. So the fix would just be a dab of glue and gluing it back. That's really all you're doing is breaking the, the part that's glued. But it's always better if you don't break it at all. And if you are just patient for a few extra seconds as you open it, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, besides that, obviously, this is a 2.0 figure. The hands on the 2.0 figures are always very, very thin. These are actually super nice and solid. But when you before you pop and swap hands, it's never a bad idea to give it a little bit of heat. Same thing on the feet. Um, they are in there. It's trying to find that happy medium where they're still poppable, but they're not loose and they're they're in there. They're strong. So a little bit of heat, just a blow dryer, 20 seconds. That softens up the plastic enough so you can pull those arms, those, excuse me, those hands and those feet out. Those are really the, the main things on Bastet that I think you should be mindful of. Now on Anubis, Anubis comes with this antiquity. This is called the Anubis Shrine. This is actually a recreation of an artifact that was found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, the, the you know, pretty famous Egyptian pharaoh. So the way this is packaged in the actual set is the Anubis you know, recreation, the statue on top is separate. And then this piece here 
is two separate pieces. And this does open up and no, there are no secret surprises inside of this set. Um, that's only something we do with the holiday releases. Monkey King didn't come with a surprise. Headless Horseman didn't come with a surprise. There is legitimately no surprise in this. So it is packaged separately. Now, my suggestion to you, and I do believe Dorklair covered this on his review as well. If you haven't checked out that review on Dorklair's channel, we always have him drop those on the day of the release. We love that partnership with him. Definitely check that out. My suggestion is you put on this piece, the part with the big handles, last. And the reason for that is simple. These are thin. They're, they're pretty sturdy. They're very sturdy. You're not just going to snap them by touching them. But as you're trying to press things down, especially this dog, if you're pressing this down and you're angled and you slip, you could crack those. There's a chance you could crack them. A chance. We don't want to do that. So what we're going to do here is if you look on the top of that accessory there, a lot of people are calling this the Ark. It's technically called the Anubis Shrine. It lines up with some different pegs that are on the dog statue. Just line those up and put it in. Um, it is a little tricky at first to get it in. Once it goes in, it's. I just pulled this one out and put it right back in, no problem. As always, a little bit of heat if you're struggling with it to give you a little bit of flexibility. You just want to get that, you know, lined up correctly. But once that's in, then I suggest putting on the bottom part. And that just literally snaps in. That will hopefully help it so you don't accidentally slip and break that piece as well. All in all, super solid set. There's nothing specific you have to be worried about. All the joints are very nice. They move very, very well. So you shouldn't have any problems. You might not even have any problems with these two things I've just pointed out, but it never hurts to shoot a video like this just to give you that information and make you aware of it so you don't happen to have a break. Um, of course, if there are any problems, that's what our customer service is here for. You can email us at customer service at sourcehorseman.com. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of, what's that phrase? Pound, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of, I guess, fixing the problem, right? We want you to enjoy your toys. We don't want you to have to wait for replacements. Thank you very much to everyone that supported this drop, everyone that made another Figura Obscura weekend. One to remember, stay tuned. You never know when the next Figura Obscura is going to drop. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.